Welcome to the AV42C Radar Warning Receiver Tutorial. In this video, we will learn about the radar warning receiver and how it plays a vital role in keeping the aircraft from becoming a land craft. The radar warning receiver, commonly referred to as the RWR, does not detect hostiles directly, but instead detects when a hostile is using radar to detect our aircraft. Simply put, whenever a radar source is pinging the aircraft, the RWR will pick up that source and notify us via audio and visual cues. By default, the RWR audio beeping is turned on. To enable the visual aspect, first we must turn on the left mini multifunction color display by pressing this button here. Then. Press the button labeled RWR to set it as the active item on the screen. The center cross represents our aircraft. Then there is the inner circle and the outer circle. Hostiles marked on the RWR do not directly reflect their distance from the aircraft, but instead show how strong the radar source is. A stronger radar source will appear closer to the center of the circle. However, the strongest source may not be the closest, but instead may be the most likely to target the aircraft. Volume and power controls can be found on the RWR mode panel located on the left side of the cockpit. By default, it is set to on for both visual and audio cues. However, we can change it to silent so it still tracks threats on the MMFCD without the audible beeping, or it can be turned off completely. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will set it to the on position. Several different symbols will appear on the RWR screen. A diamond shows us the primary threat. A full circle shows that a threat is locking on or tracking the aircraft. A half circle or a dome shape shows us which threat is the last detected threat. An arrow or wing shaped icon means that it is an airborne threat. And a big red M in a circle represents an incoming missile. There are several different hostile units that can be detected and identified via the RWR, each with their own symbol. I will leave this up on the screen for a moment. Feel free to pause the video to study these symbols, however, there is also a link in the description to the image file that was used and a link to the wiki page that will be updated with any new icons added to VTOL VR. Now for a brief demonstration of how the RWR panel looks in a situation where a drone fighter launches a missile at the aircraft. Note the higher pitched ping when a new threat is detected. I will now demonstrate how this plays out in a real combat scenario. Just as we crest over the mountain, we are pinged by a hostile dish for a SAM site marked by the DS. The half dome means it is the latest detected threat, where the diamond shows that it is the primary threat. It is now locking on to the aircraft. It has fired a missile at us. The radar dish is still marked as the primary threat, notated by the diamond shape. However, it is no longer a new threat, so it does not have the half dome. The RWR detects nearby missile launches, even those not intended for our aircraft. This includes friendly launches as well, so keep an ear out for your wingmen to call out FOX-2 or FOX-3. To avoid clutter, the radar of most friendly units do not appear on the RWR, unlike in real life. All missile launches are detected by the RWR, but only radar missiles are noted by a big red M. This concludes the AV-42C Radar Warning Receiver Tutorial.